Hey there, it's Professor McDonald. In this video, we are going to practice entering fractions. Sometimes questions ask for fractions, reduced fraction, or mixed number answers. We're going to enter the fraction 2 over 4. For instance, the preview will show you how the computer is interpreting what you typed. Here we're told to enter 13 divided by 52. And we're not told to reduce that, so we're going to leave it like it is. You could have also reduced it and that would still be marked correctly. The next one actually says in reduced form. So 4 over 20, look for the largest thing that goes into both the numerator and the denominator evenly. So 4 will divide into both of those evenly. So I'm going to do 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 20 divided by 4 is 5. Notice it'll tell you that 4 over 20 is not okay here because it's not reduced. All right, only enter a mixed number if prompted to do so. You will enter your mixed number answer like 5 and 1 third this way. Notice the space that exists between the 5 and the 1 third. Okay, so here we're entering, this, entering 13 plus 8 over 20 as a mixed number. So that would be 13 space and then 8 divided by 20. Of course, it doesn't say whether we should reduce it. Well, actually it does. It says also be sure to reduce the fractional portion. So the largest thing that goes into both 8 and 20 equally is 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. All right, then we have uh, this fraction that complain, uh, contains complex terms with variables and all of that. So um, here we've been told to enter this, and it's got a fraction and a fraction. So I'm going to start with a fraction bar, and then once I'm in the top of the fraction, I'm going to make another fraction bar, and that's 2 in the top, then 3 plus x. Oops, somehow I missed. There we go. Make sure you're underneath the division sign. And then the bottom is 4 times y plus 1. Okay, we'll submit that. And just notice that everything has been accepted and marked correctly.